my name is Katie. I am actually the vice chair this year of the Ottawa Stray Cat Rescue. I also founded it five years ago. I'm Carmel Bourgeois. I'm part of the Ottawa Stray Cat Rescue and I am currently the Trap, Neuter and Return Coordinator. We um, are all nonprofit, and we actually take stray cats off the streets around Ottawa. We find them homes and then we actually work with a lot of the feral cats doing trap new to return which is TNR because there are a lot of different feral cats and we would find that there were colonies around Ottawa that were like five to 30 or more cats and we really wanted to do something about the overpopulation issues. The feral cats are trapped, they're spayed or neutered and then they're returned back to their colony when safe to do so. TNR is necessary because there's so many stray cats, some of them dumped, some of them owned, and some of them born in the wild. And TNR helps control the population of community cats. By returning them back, they won't procreate. There'll be less kittens, there'll be less fighting, it reduces disease. We find we've actually succeeded in limiting a lot of the colonies based on spaying and neutering. Ottawa Stray Cat Rescue is an organization of volunteers. We depend on volunteers a lot and everybody is a volunteer and we want to believe they're team members because it's a contribution. In our program it's all a coordinated effort. We have TNR trappers, those are the people that go out and actually do the trapping. We have foster homes, we have drivers that take the cats to and from the foster homes or to and from the vet appointments. We have coordination, somebody that coordinates all that. We have a vet liaison who takes care of arranging the vet appointments and letting the other team members know when there are appointments. So it's all a very much a team effort to pull off a TNR day. Last year we had approximately between 80 and 100 and all those cats were various colonies throughout Ottawa and some outside of the city. first step is to get a vet appointment, then we line up foster homes and then we start trapping about a week beforehand. The cats are dropped off usually around 8 a.m. and they've been fasted from the night before. From midnight on they get no food, they can have water. Cats arrive at the vet and then they're registered in, make sure that they're uh, in the database information is all in the vet clinic and then the vets take each cat and if possible they'll examine them. If not they'll do like a visual until they're under and then the next step is to sedate them and then and they'll do a more thorough check for uh, any obvious injuries. They'll check the dental and then they prep them for surgery and then they're spayed or neutered and vaccinated. And then we microchip every cat as well. And we do an ear tip which helps us identify them when we're trapping at the same colony so that we can see that that cat's been trapped and fixed. Since 2011 we've brought into care around 2,800 cats um, and found homes for them. So that's 2,800 adoptions and 2,800 cats not having babies. That to us is huge, certainly based on a group of volunteers. <laughs>